Right then, I've arrived at Puxton Church with the Leaning Tower. Gate's not been shut, look. They've left that open. I'll just shut it, actually. I feel better if it's shut. Um, just leave that like that. So I can hear the gate then if anyone comes to try and pinch my bike. So here we are. Here we have the church. I haven't been in here for a couple of years and because of Covid it's been shut quite a lot as well. So it's nice to get in again. Um, yeah, the good old box pews. These are the best I've ever seen, you know, when I've been anywhere, like in this condition. The old organ. I've been up in the pulpit before. Um, it's a bit wobbly. I don't know if it's still open or not. Oh yeah, you can still go up in it, look. Probably a big spider get me. Yeah, it always reminds me of Puritan times. This is a really, really old church. I think they still have the occasional service, but it's mainly redundant, I think, because it's in a bad state. It is really, isn't it? But it's got a lot of its original features. Look at those box pews. Massive. I'll go down backwards. It's really old, this pulpit. God, I'm so pleased to have come back in. It's... I think I've only been in here a couple of times in the last 10 years. <sighs> yeah. I remember coming in here and asking for help for a family member who was very seriously ill. But um, it didn't save them, unfortunately. But I did. I remember coming in here and wishing for some sort of help. I remember. I think there was more decoration on there before as well. It looks a bit bare, more bare than in the past. And we've got all these um, people under the ground here. Whip. Whippy seems to be the name, Elizabeth Whippy. Born, oh, I don't know, something 47, it could be 1747, maybe earlier. Yeah, the old uh, stand there, lantern. And then we've got this real old pew, look. I'm not quite sure who sat in here, whether it was the priest. But of course they want people to know this still exists. This beautiful old church. It really is old. This must be a thousand years old. It looks it, doesn't it? Some of these some of this wood. Crypt. Down there who knows who's down there. They never do have a booklet, how you can get stuff online now. That's a good picture of it, isn't it? Yeah, the old font. I have read up on it once, but of course I can't remember everything now. I did at the time when I was first doing it. I remembered it for ages. <sighs> yeah. Oh, it really is good to get in. So that bit, that look, the last bit, big bit of repair must have been that. Oh, look at it. That's a very strong arch, isn't it? The arches actually look very strong. Pulpit. You think they might have done some sort of restoration work on the pulpit, though, wouldn't you? Even if it's some sort of, they've probably done woodworm treatment. I would have thought so.
But these are solid old benches. I can imagine these being here for centuries and centuries. Really, really. Long, long time. Right, I'll just take some pictures. Right then, I went to Puxton, did some video of Puxton Church, I think it's called Holy Saints. Cycled from Puxton to Shoeish, crossed over a very, very, very dangerous road, the A30. Is it the A38 or...? Uh, no, it, it joins onto the M5 anyway, but a very, very busy road, A road. <sighs> Crossed over the bridge, had a look at the busy traffic on the M5. Now I'm heading towards Western Supermare, the other side of Western Supermare to where I live. I'll be going through Plumley Park, the scenic way home. Then I'll go down on the cycle route past Asda and nip down the, the quick route home. Now, when I was at Puxton Church, I sat and had a little picnic there and just reflected quietly for a minute. Two people came in to have a look at the fantastic box pews that they've got. I mean, P P Puxton Church is really something out of the Puritan times and, and beyond, but definitely very, very puritanical and much in need of some restoration, I would say. But anyway, it was about half past three when I sat on their little bench and had an orange and a yoghurt bar and a drink of water. I couldn't find a tap. That's the second tap I haven't been able to find for drinking water. Um, so that's um, a bit strange. I um, mean, in the other place, they, they were collecting rainwater, actually for people to fill up with their watering cans. I wasn't going to risk that. But I'm now on the snake bends near Wick St. Lawrence, which is over there. I'm not going to Wick St. Lawrence, but this is the route I use if I am going there, doing a circular. So it's been, I've had a good week. I, mean, I would do more, but it's energy. But I had to get this cycle in today because the wind, the conditions were perfect for cycling. I'm not perfect. I'm aching a bit here and there. Now I'm finding it hard. I'm finding it hard videoing. Very hard to hold the camera still and steer and keep seated properly. So... I don't know what I'll do tomorrow. Tomorrow could be a, a type of rest day. <sighs> I haven't decided yet. <sighs> but it's a nice cycle, this one. Motorway over there, you don't really hear it. You can see it though, look. I have done this so many times, folks. <sighs> But it's going to be that particular cycle I did a year ago. I did it a bit later. It's not even a year ago I'd done it. I think I did it in the other direction though. I'm not can't remember now. Could have done. I think I did, yeah. I think I did it in the reverse direction. Look at this. All the hedgerows cut. Don't they look smart? And can become greens and yellows. And you've got the dandelions lining the route. Houses coming into view now. Little boxes. 
a little resting place with some lambs there. I think I'll just go back there and have a drink of water myself. Wait a minute. This is a little orchard. They've got barbed wire all over it so you can't get in there. They've got sheep probably about to have lambs and stuff so... It's been tidied up a lot that orchard but at least they've kept it as an orchard. It used to be very wild in there. Very wild indeed. The farmers have been very tidy, I noticed, over this COVID period. They've really, really smartened up their fields and their farms. You know? There's a lot of, um, like, hairdressing stuff going on. <laughs> Only pruning. Isn't it? Yeah, an awful lot of it. Let's just zoom in on that one a minute. Yeah, different coloured ones in there. They're probably about to have lambs. Somebody just cycled by. Right, folks, I'm going to turn off now. Right, I haven't really done much videoing because it's, un it's awkward holding the camera, as I've pointed out before. Um, it puts you in a very awkward position on the bike as well, so... I've done more photos. I've been clicking as I've gone along. I'm now on the bridge. I've come through Plumley Park. Now, I should be owned by, well, I'll pass five at the latest. I would have thought it was going to be about a seven hour. It's going to be a seven hour cycle trip, basically. With lot, you know, lot reasonable pace, just isn't a race. I'm, I'm taking photos and doing videos, stopping off at cemeteries and churches. Just thought I'd do. I don't know how often I video this bit. Probably hardly ever, especially if there's someone on it. Weston's up there. Weston Supermare Railway Station. And this is the main line, I should imagine, coming from the north. Bristol. And everything, you know, Bristol, mainly. A junction point for other routes. <sighs> then you think passing from Bristol will be going down to the southwest Bridgewater Devon um, probably could be Cornwall some some will go all the way to Cornwall um, I want to do a day trip to Totnes on a nice day that's what I plan to do I did it about Nine years ago, was it ten years ago? I don't know, but I know I did it. I went back to Totnes where I lived for a short while. And uh, I want to do it again. I had a very, very inferior camera in those days. The pixels were very... Well, it was just very blurred. And this, like, this probably seems... Um, to, to professionals, this would seem terrible as well. It is a Sony. It is good Sony, actually. It's just that it's knackered because I use it so much. Oh, I'm just having a little rest walking down here. It's the last hike in a minute after. Once I pass Asda, I won't, won't take me long to be home. Yeah, we've, I've been cycling for seven hours by the time I get home. I feel like it no. <sighs> I've done a great big circular cycle. Up hills, down hills. <sighs> but lovely, good, good conditions for cycling today. 
it's the 20th of April 2021 this is one of the last videos I'll be doing now because I'll be sort of in a built up area um, cars, people I'm just going to walk for a bit longer actually I'll, get on. I'll just do a little bit more video in until we get down to the bottom here it's just yeah I'm going to go along a little path here then I'll join up with another path cross over a road and head on a public cycle and footpath towards loads of shops like Asda and I'll be weaving in and out until I get home right I'm going to stop now